Hello everyone, myself Fuad Hau. I welcome all of you to today's session of Visual J Forex, in which I will be starting afresh with a new set of uh, indicator named uh, ADX, the Average Directional Index. We will see how we can uh, define and design an algorithm which is going to be based on the momentum of the underlying instrument's price action. So we will uh, be using this indicator to look at if there is enough of momentum it can be on the either side it can be bullish or bearish and uh, we all need to know is uh, whether this is the time to get involved for the trade when there is likely to be a big price action because in the choppy waters it's better to remain on the sidelines rather than getting involved so this indicator is something you can use to look at the price momentum and uh, after that you can think about for going for a buy trade or a sell trade depending on the direction of the trend which we are using uh, which we will be finding out simply using the historical candles so we are relying on the price action and, and uh, the ADX so let us now head to the visual j forex board which has been developed by the Ducoscopy Bank SA you will find these uh, indicators listed amongst the momentum indicators this is the first one we have already done these indicators mathematical were last session was about variance now today it's the turn of the ADX so this is how this uh, indicator is constructed we have to define these uh, four input parameters depending on which we will get the output values and uh, for this session we are going to be working on the hourly time frame so first thing first i will have to do is change the time period to hourly and uh, then i will explain to you the logic for the trade on this uh, visual j forex chart this is the euro usd hourly time frame chart and i have plotted this adx chart adx indicator also and uh, the logic behind the execution of trade is uh, fairly simple we want the price action to be gaining strength and as you might be aware or if you are not you can refer to my introductory session on the adx also which i had done in the prior series when we were getting to know various uh, indicators available on the visual j forex platform now coming back to the functionality of this indicator we will be looking for the trade whenever the adx uh, gains strength that is uh, its output value rises above 25 from below 25 and uh, then to look at the direction of the trend we will be using the historical candles and here the last hourly closing candle will be compared to the close of the hourly candle five hours back so we will be using the shift value of 1 and 5 and looking at the price data how the price has behaved and then to look at the strength of the trend we will also be using this uh, indicator block ADX and this time around it is uh, bearish so we are seeing a fresh breakout on the lower side and uh, sometimes it can be on the bullish side and uh, the ADX is agnostic to the direction of the trend. It tries to measure only the strength of the trend. So you can use this indicator in both ways. And uh, you have to rely on some other parameters to define the direction of the trend. And uh, this only gives you the idea. Or uh, if there is a chunk of price momentum, so we will be doing precisely that we will be looking at its value and as is the case whenever the value rises about 25 we want to initiate the new trade for the underlying instrument in the direction of the trend so here in this case the euro usd's price rise is happening and as and when the adx value goes about 25 we want the trade to be executed so that's how the system is going to work and for that we will be using the historical candle data and the ADX values. So now let us again head back to the Visual J Forex board. 
here i will first have to do the instrument subscription and uh, we are working with the uh, euro usd only and uh, for instrument subscription i will have to take a uh, couple of logical component blocks of if else so here is a block and we will need um, some more of it for uh, this session the start point is on candle so as and when new candle is formed the iteration will happen now coming to all position position amount uh, this we will use later on first let us take default instrument and match it with the tick instrument not tick the candle instrument okay and then the candle instrument should match the instrument of our choice which is going to be the euro usd Okay, default instrument, bit, last bit candle, candle instrument, and uh, that is being matched with the euro USD. All right. Now comes the position amount, which needs to be zero. That means there is no existing position, whether open position or pending order on the account. And for that, second parameter needs to be defined at zero. We have done the instrument subscription and then the position amount has been defined. Now coming back to the ADX, we have to define its input values. The default instrument is zero USD, then the time period uh the individual candle period is hourly then shift value needs to be changed as we want it to be based on the recently closed candle the last one so the back period is now one time period the number of candles of the hourly time frame which will be used to calculate the adx value is going to be 14 and uh, as i said we will be comparing the adx values and for that we will need uh, one more adx value and uh, this is going to be the penultimate candle and for that i will have to take the shift value of 2 Default instrument now we will also need to take a couple of uh, historical uh, candles of hourly time frame for that we have to look at the info components and here is the great historical candle okay Shift 
value of 1 This also needs to be changed to hourly time frame. And this will be ship value of 5. Alright. So far so good. So we have got these uh, blocks to gather the price action data and uh, this indicator block ADX to look at the length of the trend. Now to pinpoint the exact uh, entry and exit points, I will also use the 10 seconds candle. For that we need two more Okay, this also needs to be changed to ten seconds. And the shift value of one and so here we have got this now to make sure there is a you know, uh, price volatility also we can define the price difference in terms of tips as well suppose if you want that at least uh, 10 pips of price difference should be there between the uh, between these uh, last hourly candle close level and the uh, hourly candle which closed 5 hours back you can do that also and one more thing is that uh, we are uh, not really going to define the entry point at the market so we will be using the pending open for that also you can uh, use the price difference and whatever is the price difference you can use some percentage of 8 and you can go for a limit order or a stop order so both ways uh, that can be defined and for that I will have to take a couple of uh, calculation expression blocks also mathematical components calculation expression okay So here we will uh, look at the price action and uh, for that we need to make sure that we are doing the calculation right. So for the buy side we need the candle close of this candle 21 to be above the candle 22's closing level and uh, also since we are also looking at the price difference between these two closing levels, we will have to do subtraction in case of the requirement being in our favor. So for buy trade, we will need to do subtraction between this, the candle 21's closing and candle 22's closing. So I will have to deduct the candle 22's closing from candle 21's closing. And in case of the sale trade, the requirement is that candle 21's close needs to be below the candle 22 so in that case i will have to subtract candle 21's value from the candle 22's candle close value as candle 22's close is going to be higher so first we will uh, carry out the calculation as per the buy sale uh, buy trade uh, requirement and for that candle 21's closing level needs to be higher and then deduct the candle 22's closing level from it. So I will be taking candle 
2021's closing level and 2022's closing level into consideration. This will be A1 minus A2. This is going to be candle difference for buy and for sell the condition is going to be inverted we need candle 22's close to be higher than the candle 21's close so in that case the difference to remain in positive territory we have to invert the last calculation and now this time around we deduct the candle 21's close from candle 22's close a1 minus a2 and this value will be good enough to do the comparison for sell trade initiation so this will be handle difference for sell now we have looked at the actual price difference but then these values we will need to compare with the other values which we will need to define to look at uh, what's happening and whether it is uh, as per our requirement but uh, other uh, calculation the defining of certain amount of pips which we need to do using the default instrument pip size and a newly created variable i will do that in uh, next session for the time being we wrap up the session here only as we are now running short on time so in next session do come back there is a lot more to learn and i will be explaining the remaining part of this so thank you all for joining in See you next time. Till then, goodbye.